this is Santosh Vaswani, journalist and editor at the CIO News. I would uh, like to invite my guest today, who is uh, Mr. Muzammil Sheikh, Associate Director, Cybersecurity from ANB. Welcome, sir. Thank you. So, sir, my first question for you would be, how can uh, proactive threat monitoring and swift vulnerability assessment system in the cybersecurity question? Yeah, very good question to start with. I think that's a need of the hour for the industry, right? Uh, vulnerability management has been, you know, part of the uh, CISO's arsenal for uh, many years now. With the threat intelligence, I think it is something where you take your decisions, you know, basis your uh, intel that you get, so that more proactively you know what are the threats which is get to surface. I mean, it's it's all about deep and dark web monitoring where you get some intel more proactively so that you can take more informed decision with respect to your business, your environment, and accordingly take you know quick decisions in terms of the risks which before it gets materialized into the environment. So that's a very important thing which needs to be taken into consideration. And that's how, you know, when you are taking some proactive uh, steps, it definitely improves your security postures. Well, one aspect I uh, wanted to add that is vulnerability management is something which you are detecting, right? Something which is already existing on your systems, on, you know, whatever assets that you have in your environment. You are taking decisions after those risks are already there in the environment. So the time window of or the risk exposure is, you know, how fast you mitigate. Threat monitoring is something which helps you to reduce those, you know, detections capabilities in a way that you are able to understand, you know, what threats are coming up so that accordingly you can see the applicability of those threats to your environment and take more quicker decisions before it gets exposed to the wider public. Sir, uh, my next follow-up question would be, what is the importance of cybersecurity in 2024? And uh, what uh, would be your recommendations to cybersecurity leaders on the must-have uh, processes and tools for strengthening their online security? I think uh, we know the threat landscape is changing, right? We are hearing from all the leaders uh, in various forums. So for 2024, as we have seen, you know, of lately, in, uh, if, you, if you see the span of 2023 or even if you go past the last two, three years, you know, the, there is a proliferation of the threats just, you know, hitting all the industries. And as, you know, in one of the forum uh, which I attended, health industry is something which has been targeted consecutively for the last three years, right? Something which nobody might have imagined that why somebody will attack a health industry. You know, that is completely changing the perception and at the same time it is showing the importance that cyber security is not something constrained now only to the IT industry per se, right? Any industry which have, uh, you know, the presence of uh, assets or a connectivity and, and for that matter, no business can thrive today without having internet connectivity, right? They need to, if somebody wants to do the business, they need to be there on the internet. And that's where the moment you are there on the internet, you know, you are, you are exposed to the wider audience and somebody, you know, can leverage anything which is not being mitigated to their advantage. I think from a cyber security perspective, 2024 is something which I think have a impact on many industries, okay, to consider that what are the reforms to be required from their respective industry perspective apart from adopting some of the best practices which is already existing in the industry. That's how I see the importance of cyber security for 2024. What a great answer sir. And uh, one last question would be considering the increase in cyber attacks uh, what training opportunities young professionals should get to grow as leaders? Yeah sure. Very important question again. A challenge with the industries facing per se from a cyber security standpoint is having the you know the talent. Right. We are seeing there is a more demand and the talent is not available in the market to fulfill that. So a lot of some you know institutes which have come up with the curriculum to train the young professionals, you know, for two years program on the cyber security areas and all so that their mindset are more aligned to what is expected the moment they come out of the course, right? Which is which is very important. As part of my team, I have many young professionals, right? 
so inculcating that knowledge is very important to the mindset in terms of understanding what is the basics of cyber security right with the plethora of technologies and the evolutions it is happening you know with the digital digitalization and new technologies which is coming like iot's ai's and all of the world the basics for me of cyber security remains the same respective of how the technology evolves over time and that is something which is very important to inculcate in the mind of the you know uh, the young uh, professionals who want to be grown up as leaders in the cyber security industry that you understand what is the basic rules of cyber security first first of all what are we trying to achieve with cyber security how do they align with the business understanding that why cyber security is required in the first place right the three triads which we have been you know learning from decades the confidentiality integrity and availability it is still holds good you know in terms of understanding that uh, whatever area you assess for the business how does that impact from those three you know triads perspective so this is my advice to the young professionals you know understand the basics of cyber security right uh, understand the basic concepts and then uh, slowly you can you know learn the areas where it applies to thank you very much sir for your great answers and uh, thank you very much for, for watching this interview please do follow us on cimnews.co.in and our youtube channel cimnews thank you